Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net and shareholder in Helios and Mephison. And before we begin, I want to make a little bit of a mini announcement. I actually made two movie pass videos today. However, the other one is not on this channel. It's actually on the other channel I run. And you will find out why if you go see it. Basically, it had something to do with what the subject was and the subject of that channel. I felt that was just a better place to put it. But I will leave a link to it below so that you can check out the other channel. And uh, if you like that channel, maybe you can, um, you know, check it out. Uh, otherwise, we're going to talk about this topic on this channel. And that is that one of the MoviePass board members has very publicly quit MoviePass and has very critically said some very unflattering things about the company. And does this actually mean that MoviePass is in trouble? Well, here's the deadline article. Economist Carl Schramm, I believe that's his, how you pronounce it, has resigned from the board of directors of MoviePass com parent company Helios and Matheson Analytics, claiming that management withheld financial information and made important decisions without the board's knowledge. The board member said his concerns have grown substantially over the last eight weeks of so the company's management made corporate decisions and executed and executed significant transactions without the board's knowledge or approval, offered last-minute notice of meetings, and withheld material information for months. Quote, these and other actions have interfered with my ability to execute my responsibility as a board member, Schramm wrote in a letter dated August 25th. Taken together, they confirm that despite my best efforts, my ability to effectively discharge my duties as a director have been compromised beyond repair. Schramm resigned effective immediately. The company filed documents with the SED disclosing Shram's exit from the board. The company said it wasn't aware of any unanswered requests for information and denied keeping the board in the dark. Quote, the board and committee of which Mr. Shram was a member, uh, member have met at least 25 times at duly convened meetings thus far in 2018. And the company firmly believes that it has kept the board fully informed and has provided all information needed for board members to exercise their responsibility. Now, here's the full text of the letter, and this is the letter that we're going to be discussing the most and what this means. Dear Ted, now, before we even begin, let's make this very clear how this starts. This board member has a huge issue with Ted Farnsworth. He is not naming Lich Lowe. He's not even naming the board. He is naming Ted Farnsworth, which, you know what? I have heard a lot of pretty negative things about Ted, I've heard he's an idiot. I've heard he's incompetent. I hear that one of the reasons he keeps selling stock and keep diluting it is because whenever someone comes in and starts getting some control of the company, he just sells more shares and issues more shares to prevent control from getting out of his grip. But And from everything that I've heard and read, people just don't like this guy. In fact, MoviePass itself would probably be worth a lot more money if he wasn't running the show. Now, some of you blame Mitch Lowe for a lot of the decisions, and you know what? Mitch might be complicit. I'm not going to completely let him off the hook, but make no mistake, Ted is the driving force, and from every investor, every board member now, and with every everyone who's ever had anything to do with the company, they all speak fairly highly of Mitch, but not so highly of Ted, and most have admitted they would do more business with the company if Ted wasn't there. So the board member writing this letter to Ted Farnsworth is him stating Ted is the problem, not the company. Although since Ted runs the company, some might argue that it's interchangeable, but whatever. So anyway, here's what the letter says. As you know, for several months now, I have raised questions and expressed concerns about the corporate governance of Helios and Mesa's and Analytics Inc.'s the company. I have sought often unsuccessfully information about the company's financial status and operations and, I ex and explanations of company strategy. I have objected to the manner in which a number of business decisions have been presented to the board of directors by management without sufficient time for the board to examine complex documents, to review significant transactions, or to discuss how the proposed actions fit into the company's strategic plan. These concerns have increased substantially over the past eight weeks as management apparently has made a number of in important corporate decisions and executed significant transactions either without board knowledge or approval or in board meetings initiated with only a few hours of advance notice by email at least one of which i did not even know had been called until the meeting had been concluded just last week i learned that management withheld material information from the board for several months and that's what that you know uh shareholder class action lawsuits about by the way these and other actions have interfered with my ability to exercise my responsibilities as a board member 
Taken together, they confirm that despite my best efforts, my ability to effectively discharge my duties as a director has been compromised beyond repair. Accordingly, effective immediately, I don't know why my ear just, scra just scratched, I hereby resign from the board of directors of Healers and Mason Analytics, Inc., and from any and all committees of which I'm a member. In accordance with Section 11 of Securities Act from this date forward, I disclaim any and all responsibility for any part of any registration statement filed with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission by or on behalf of Helios and Mathis and Analytics or any of its affiliates, including but not limited to Form S3 filed on January 25th, 2018, the Form S3 filed on January 2nd, 2018, and any other corporate filings. So anyway, yeah, so let's talk about this. Now, does this mean MoviePass is in trouble? In and of itself, not really. Board members leave all the time, and there are usually disputes between board members and the corporate offices. You know, on a fairly regular basis, just ask Papa John's. However, this does clue us in that the board is fairly dysfunctional. In fact, reading between the lines, I am under the impression this guy was not happy with certain decisions regarding the stock. He has not been happy with how Ted Farnsworth has executed power and bought things that they felt they didn't need movie phone was probably one of them and he probably at the very least tried to get the board to get him out and he probably lost that battle probably because you know farnsworth has so much of the voting power right now you know when someone owns 51 percent of something it's really 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 hard to get rid of them so that's just unfortunate that this is happening and it I don't know if uh, Carl was one of the good ones. Maybe he was just despicable, and he's just trying to cover his butt before they get caught. There's always that possibility. It is should be noted, though, that most of the time when board members meet, not meet, when they leave in a very public way like this, normally doesn't work out well for them. Not in the long run, anyway. But we'll have to just see on that. Um, it definitely sounds like he's happy to be out of there, and... If Ted's the only one making all the major decisions, then maybe this guy's right. Maybe his opinion wasn't being taken seriously, and it doesn't matter whether he's there or, you know, not there. Either way, it's uh, probably the most significant thing to happen to Movie Pass in the last couple weeks, and unlike the 47% of people are considering canceling, this is an actual news story. So now I'm going to pass the question on to you. What do you guys think of this? Do you pay attention to this stuff? Do you care? Do you think he made the right choice by leaving? Do you think he should have stayed on? Maybe he could have, you know, fought the battle from within. I would love to know. So, comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, but even as old as $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly. And as always, flame responsibly. Don't forget to check out the link below for the other video for that other movie pass news story that I'm doing on my other channel and subscribe to that one if you want to. It's a little bit different from this one. It's more gig economy and, you know, entrepreneurship, but you know what? Some people like it. It's got almost 10,000 subscribers. So yeah, you know, join it if you'd like, and I will see you probably Monday. Have a good one.